Hey guys, welcome back to another gameplay of uh, the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. I'm blown to spot. I didn't say Ultra Deluxe in the last episode, though, because, well, my mind is still feeling fried. Yes, this is after I'm still playing. After having All that. All his co-workers were gone. And what he's still here. Mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yes, guys, I am still playing after the last no episode. No matter how hard Stanley Shut looked, up. he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Oh my gosh, my mind was just blown after everything. It's just yes, it was a good game and all that though, and all the oh, what the heck? <laughs> new new content. Oh good, you noticed my sign. Yes, I have something very exciting to show you. Okay. Oh my gosh. That is, that is still, like, I would still hate to experience something like that happening to me. No. Oh, just skip to here. Okay. So, what is that all about? I feel like, I don't know. Anyways, boom. You see, Stanley, I've been reflecting on the Stanley Parable and about how roundly disappointing this ultra-deluxe version has turned out to be. Really? The original Stanley Parable was a landmark, and any new content for it should live up to that legacy. So forget this ultra-deluxe nonsense. I say we take it one step even further. Which is why I'm very proud to announce for the first time ever the, the Stanley sort of Parable 2. Hey, the Stanley Parable 2. Would have been funny if I was looking the wrong way. <laughs> yes, you see, isn't this far superior to a measly re-release with a few minor additions? Think That's of all cool. The new territory will cover with a fully fledged sequel, an entirely new experience built from the ground up. Why there are so many possibilities? It could go in so many different directions. This is what fans have truly been asking for. Four two seven, investigator showcase two. Oh, the adventure line too. <laughs> Get it? Tiva two, Twee, Ducks, Do, Z, whatever. Taste the sequel. I want the sequel. Come on. I want to taste it. Stanley Parable two is just so much catchier than Ultra mm -hmm. Deluxe, don't you think? Ultra Deluxe. Sure. What does it even mean? But the Stanley Parable two. Now just that's an artistic us. statement. We can right make there. it if we try. It's future just oriented. Us, it screams us, progress and us. innovation building and long-term franchising. Well, oh, building castles and just to us, you and I. Oh, it, oh, that was a song. I'm sorry. Were you saying something? I was too busy reading something. <laughs> I say that so many times or something. Oh, I'm assuming that's the same thing. Meeting at. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Meeting at 2 p.m. What is this? Sequel ideas. Stanley can throw axes. Stanley can get boons. What? Intimate wife scene. Free roam. Mode. Dress up. Okay, sure. Feel canisters. <laughs> okay, sure. What is all this? Two. It's your number two. Okay. Every pause button. Okay. They are back. Two doors. Hey. I wonder if these, um. Thanks for attending my meeting. Oh. Okay. So I really wonder if they actually put up beta design things for the Stanley Parable 2 title thing. I don't know. For all I know, that could be really the case. Well, not Nothing anyways. Yeah. I haven't quite nailed down what exactly the Stanley Parable 2 is going to be, but let's take a look at some of the features I've been developing for it. Hmm. I figure that if I can loosely organize a handful of interesting concepts, uh, I see that what surely the game will sort of naturally spring up around them. It'll all Sequel work itself good. out. Portal game two, development two, is much Markham. more of a fuzzy magic than anything scientific hey. or logical, really. Dark Souls 2, oh boy. Doom 2. That's another game I really want to try and play in Doom Eternal on here. I loved Doom Eternal so much. And I've always wanted to play it on my channel, though, but I never had the opportunity to do so. Now I probably can, but it's going to be a lot interesting because I'm going to be doing it on a mouse and keyboard. I'm going to be so terrible. 
I've done it so well on a controller. Can't imagine how I'm gonna play it on this. Once I ever get to that point. New features. Show me the features. There's a bus. What a random place to park a bus, of all things. Hey, ooh. Free. Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. Ooh. I do like this place. This place is very good. I just noticed the giant supposed Stanley back there. For the Stanley Parable 2, I asked myself, what do players really want? And of course, the first and most obvious answer is too they small. want to be in the too big. recognized <clears throat> and validated as people. What the so heck? So with that in mind, my first addition to the game is this button which speaks the name of the person playing the game. What the Isn't heck? That this thing one? is so big. What in the world? Okay. Sure. We'll, we'll do that. That thing is the. Oh, that's a really giant size thing. Name. Here, your name. Try it here. My name, huh? Hi. Do you know what my name is? We're about to see. Jim. Sorry, I should have clarified. Right now, my name's not Jim. Name Jim. But of course, in the final game, this button will say your name, whatever name that is. Here. Let's have you role play as Jim to really simulate the full experience of this feature. Just okay. play along. I promise you'll love it. Okay, All here right. we go. Let's take a deep breath, clear your mind, forget whoever you are, and simply become a person named Jim. Okay. I want you to imagine yourself living as Jim. Jim. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold oh. on. I wasn't finished setting up the backstory. Oh, if sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Play as Jim, then you'll never understand the impact of this button. Sorry, Otherwise, go ahead. Otherwise, it's just a stupid button that says somebody else's name. Go ahead, sorry. Okay, we're doing it again, and this time let me finish first. Yeah, sorry, go ahead. <clears throat> now, allow yourself to become Jim. All right. Imagine yourself driving to work as Jim. Okay. Playing frisbee on the weekends as Jim. Okay. Staying up all night for a popcorn and horror movie sleepover as Jim. Okay. Developing a crippling substance addiction as Jim. Rediscovering yourself through fringe religious groups as Jim. And finally, <laughs> dying a slow death at an old age, surrounded by members of your cult as Jim. <laughs> Do you feel it in your soul? <laughs> Are you really, uh, truly Jim right now? No. If so, then please step forward and press the button. Jim. <laughs> yes, you see. What a thrill. What a rush. That was you. The button described you. Do it again. Do it again. Okay. Jim. Ooh, it hits even harder the second time. If this were the only new feature in the Stanley Parable 2, it would I still be worth the money. Jim. Let's take a break from the gym button. I'm too emotionally drained from all of this personal validation. Jim. Whoa there, cowboy. Sometimes a person can be too much Jim. 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 I'm putting the gym Jim. button away. Jim. Otherwise, Jim. soon you'll start no, to lose no. all Jim. sense of who Jim. you actually Jim. are. Jim. Jim. Okay, anyways. Wasn't that special? Jeez, we're crying out loud. It's not like I was really addicted to pressing that gym button at all. My gosh. <sighs> anyways. So, Jim, huh? My name's not Jim. Alright, nice try. I suppose what I could the, allow only heck? people named Jim to play the Stanley Parable 2. That would actually save me the work of finishing this feature. <laughs> the button that says Jim. Nice. What's up with this? That does it. It's the wrong type of two epilogue. An epilogue would be fun, wouldn't it, Stanley? Yes, yes, it will go at the end of the, um, uh, well, we'll figure that out later. Meeting at 2 p.m. Oops, big Q on accident. What's all this? Infinite hole. Setting, settings world champion, infinite hole, free achievement. World champion, huh? Settings for world champion, right? Does it, it doesn't work. Is that a setting? General presentation. Subtitle. Oh, it does have a uh, accessibility. Show show content warnings. Huh? What the? Wait, what? 
Okay. Show color labels. Okay. Uh, it doesn't have anything about, um, it doesn't have anything about world setting stuff or whatnot. Uh, infinite hole. Please, no screenshots. Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't yet decided on this one. I think that in the new <laughs> version, the, the office could use a bit of decoration, <laughs> like balloons. But I'm undecided on get well someday and happy 12th birthday. Which would you go with? Sure. You know, sometimes when you solicit another person's opinion, what? it makes you realize that you knew which one you actually really wanted all along. Happy 12th birthday, step niece it is. That's not what I picked. That is not what I picked. I picked that. Oh, well, if you want happy birthday, step niece, I've had it. See if I care. Or actually... Maybe I should have gone with... No. No, I've made my decision. We're moving on. Do, 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 do. Room. Surrounding area. Depth. Infinite. <laughs> Whole entrance. Infinity. <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> hey, wait. Hold on. Shouldn't the Y-axis be up and down? Not sideways? I don't know. Infinite hole chart. Hole. Depth. Space. More hole. <laughs> <laughs> Question marks, science, infinity, more falling, educational use only. Oh my gosh. It just keeps going. Anyways, let's go have a look at this infinity. Stanley, Ooh. here's an idea that I'm truly fond of. It's never been done before in a oh, video holy game. Holy moly, how this deep can we dig? This is a hole oh, that shoot. you can fall down forever. That's right. Infinite falling. You can fall until the end of time if do, you do, like. Do, do. A stunning leap forward for video Infinite games hole. as a medium. Whoa, that is that is quite an infinite hole. You see, isn't it wonderful? One of my more ingenious concoctions, if I do oh say so. Oh my gosh! Now then, since you've gotten to see the infinite hole. You can press the teleport button to pop back up to the top, and we can continue onward. Press G to return to the surface. I don't know. I mean, I hmm. kind of want to fall forever. Now, I don't mean to be a bummer, but I do recommend you use the teleport button to Why? go back to the top. Maybe do it on the sooner rather than later spectrum of things. Oh my gosh, the whole thing's just... <laughs> Why? I kind of... I like falling forever. Okay, Stanley. I don't know quite how to say this tactfully, but it's possible that I slightly exaggerated the infinite nature of the hole. So is you it a lied. Very, very deep hole. To be certain, it is. Oh my gosh! I can it's barely see the sunlight up there anymore. I don't want anyone to say that it isn't an astonishingly deep hole. It is. Is it infinite? Well, that sort of depends on your definition of infinity. From one perspective, the infinite is merely philosophical in nature. It's more of a Wow. Okay, well, good for you. You found the bottom of the hole. Oh my you gosh, found me up, Stanley. I'm a liar and <laughs> cheat, and you're so clever. Look, you I think are. the issue here Who the heck is smoking cigarettes down here? Fascinated by falling. <sighs> what normal person what a, actually what an was oddly specific infinite. place to get into land in I this think spot the right hole here. was as deep as anyone would actually need. Don't you put this on me. Maybe you're the problem. What were we talking about? <sighs> I was Look, just too busy looking at cigarettes and whatnot. There. I think we both said some things we didn't mean. Why don't uh, we just put all this behind us and agree to just call the whole mostly infinite? If that works for me. For you, then go ahead and press the teleport button. What did you say? It's a very deep hole. hole. We can move on. That is. I'll just be up here when you're ready. Okay. Great. Now, I'm very excited to show you even more of my ideas for the sequel. Okay, yeah, sure, let's just go get... Oh, oh shoot. <laughs> Oops. You see, I was right. The problem is you. Problem I tripped, is you like jerk. holes too much. Not normal. A normal person would have said, yep, that's an infinite hole right there. Goes on forever till the end of time. Don't need to see it all, but not you. Oh, no, no, I no, tripped, no. You have buddy. a weird sort of... What the heck? Oh. Did the hole seem even shorter to you this time? I couldn't help Kinda but feel did. like you spent a little less time in there than you did before. I mean, admittedly, I didn't make an infinite hole, but 
I didn't think it was that not infinite. Well, I suppose once again there's nothing to do here. If you decide you've had enough of the hole, you can hit the teleport button and come join me up above. Sure. Had enough? I'm positively thrilled. I really do have uh... so much more to show you and to talk about, and I've had enough of the hole for a lifetime. Uh, I kind of want to see if it got shorter. Gosh, honestly. how could I have guessed? You're back in the hole. If this starts to become a thing where... Oh, yeah, it wow. definitely did. Okay. How am I not dead, by the way? I'm starting to in become previous, extremely um, certain that the hole video, is not only I not which, infinite, I don't remember but that which it's one, growing though, steadily but... less and less infinite. I suspect I that I'm starting to hit I'm the point damaged. where it's no longer feasible to call the hole infinitely deep. Even by the lax overall standards for accountability and marketing. What's going on here? Stanley, I have no explanation for the uncertain nature of the hole's length. Here, let's try something. Let's pop back up to the top and we'll see if it gets any shorter. Sure, it works for me. Oh, no. There it is. Oh, did you Shame did. of my lie has come to haunt me. <laughs> not only is the hole not infinite, but it's barely even a hole at this point. It's more of a concavity or even a very aggressive divot. Well, um... How is this still appealing to you? <laughs> I know you're obsessed with holes, but at this depth, I just can't see this scratching the itch. Oh, who am I to judge? You just do whatever it is you're here to do and hit the teleport button when you're ready to move on. I like going in circles. Oh. Hmm. Is the, um... Teleport button not working. Yeah, watch this. Sure? Move my mic to it. Well, I mean, I really don't have an explanation. Still nothing. Well, I suppose I, I suppose there is one thing I can do to fix this. I'm out. Goodbye, Stanley. Oh, what? You couldn't bear to be away from the hole, and now you'll get more time with it than you could ever have asked for. You it's can a clearly win climb for out. Everyone. You get to be with the hole. I get to do literally anything else. Take care, Stanley. I hope you and the whole have a wonderful rest of eternity. Well, now I gotta fix my mic again because I completely moved it out of its original spot. Whoopsie. I can climb out of that. What the heck was that? I heard that. Ah, shoot. Oh, my arm's acting up. I think I might have pulled it at work today. Ouch. I'm clearly going to bed after this episode. Oh. Well, this is a thing. <laughs> um, well. Here I am, just digging myself a deeper hole. Ha. Ha 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 ha. I just made another joke. It is getting fairly darker down here. Why wasn't it like that with the first time I fell down here? Well, this is a... This is a predicament. Press F to change perspective. Oh. Oh, hey. First reveal. <laughs> what the heck? What the heck is all this? Am I okay? Perception. <laughs> what the heck is happening? What the heck is that? It's a blood sea. Oh, okay, this is the most accurate. Oh, it's puppies. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, going. Wait, Jay. What the heck? <laughs> I'm a robot. I'm upside down now. What? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> I'm 
piece of paper. I'm still a painting. Ah, back to normal. Stanley? <laughs> Stanley? Stanley? What the heck? Oh, good, you're awake. What it was happening? Sort of off there, drifting away into dreamland. We what the heck? Because this hole is just so darn fascinating that I want you to be wide awake for every second of it. You what don't want heck? to miss a single moment. So how about if I just pop in from time to time and wake you up to keep you really truly focused on the hole? From the looks of sure. things, you and I will have many, many years here in this hole. And I'm looking forward to all Why years of all Stay things? Stay alert, Stanley. I'll be back. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. I could... Okay, sure. Oh, it's starting up again. Why... Why... Who is this guy to tell me that I cannot take naps when I... So pleased to. You can't tell me what Here naps I can or Go cannot on. take. Try out some of the new features. Office, the reassurance bucket. The what? The reassurance bucket. A common complaint of the Stanley Parable was that it was confusing and paradoxical. Bucket. That it engendered a chaotic sense of reckless despair in those who played it. Well, I am happy to say that after much consideration. I've engineered a clever solution to this fundamental problem with the game. It's the Stanley Parable Reassurance what the Bucket. Heck? You see, Stanley, anytime you're I'll holding have to look at that bucket, later. a sense of calm I'll and look at ease it when will fill I'm your mind and your heart. It's true. Video. As long as you hold on to the bucket, the many disorienting contradictions of the Stanley Parable will feel perfectly normal and perhaps even comforting. You may even come to long for the gentle embrace of jarring cognitive dissonance while the bucket is in your arms. And to be honest, it's a much more convenient solution for me than actually redesigning the game to be less uncomfortable. Can you imagine what a pain in the ass that would be? Yes, the bucket is the perfect solution. What? Come on, give it a try. A, a bucket? What? Can you feel it? The glow no. of comfort, even in the face of crushing despair, must already be sweeping through your body. And I drop fact, it. Can I say that I do believe the bucket lends you an air of charisma as well? I think that just mm. holding it has made you the slightest bit more attractive as a person. The benefits okay, that's of the a bucket lie. seem to go on and on, don't they? All this and more await you in the Stanley Parable too. I sure don't feel smarter holding this bucket, and I know I am not attractive. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not Does doubting myself. Does anyone give out awards for most enjoyable bucket in a video game? That really no. should be an award if it isn't already. No, no it shouldn't. In fact, I don't even want to hold this bucket. How do I get rid of it? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> the jump zone. You know what? Let's bring the jump circle back for Stanley um, Parable 2 as well. It's a... Oh, wait. You already spent all your jumps the first time we saw the jump yes. circle. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well. I suppose it can just be a nice decorative piece, then. You know, you can just... You know you can just re-add it back. Like, you just build in a jump mechanic. Not even, like... I mean, why do you gotta be in a circle to do that, of all things? Pull the lever, receive your new achievement, no more steps. It just works. Get yours right now. Welcome. Now here's something special. You remember that broken test achievement that got left in the game on accident? I well, think. I'm developing a technology to simply give you the achievement. Yes. You see, you'll come to this lever, uh -huh. and when you pull it, the achievement will be given to you. It's as simple as that. Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now, the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley, but I guarantee it will be fixed in the sequel to at last satisfy the hordes of ravenous fans all over the world who have been uproariously demanding this feature. Gamers, we hear you, and I promise it will happen. That's just me clicking my mouse. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm running out of uh, joke ideas. <laughs> 
I'm tired, okay. I want to get some videos out, so I'm not recording every night. <laughs> what else? What other exhibits haven't we seen yet? Uh, I haven't seen this. Who the heck is that? I don't know. Can you find them all? Collectibles. Ah, collectibles. Now it's a real video game. In the Stanley Parable 2, you'll run around gathering up these miniature Stanley figurines. And what's truly innovative is that there will be no reward for collecting all of them. I don't want to stifle the intrinsic joy of watching a number go up. You simply collect all of them, and then you move the hell on with your unremarkable life. Yeah, it works good to me. One out of six. Hey, I'll take that. I like finding collectibles. They're fun. God, it really is the worst when you collect everything in a video game, and then they give you a big fancy reward for it. Absolutely tragic. So tragic indeed that it's like as if they're totally worth it. My gosh. Man, this guy... <laughs> oh no. It's such a bad thing. Did I go and do everything? Hold on, let me have a look at this. So, jump circle, yep, this map, yep. Free achievement, yep. Button that says name, yep, done that merch. Reassurance bucket, which is this stupid tin thing. Office decorations, epilogue, collectible, infinite hole, exit, yep. Anyways, let's go. We have seen everything. So what's all this? Seems interesting. All right. This have you seen everything you wanted to? Right Ready to move on now? Oh, because it's... What was that? What was a briefcase? Or a handbag, whatever that is. Okay. New mug. I'd like to hold that instead of this thing. Please, no screenshots. Sure. So, Stanley, what do you think? Do you like all of the new features? Yes, mm. I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these okay. features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's, it's just this to bucket work. on the There's other hand. There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features Ooh, together, and we'll see I whether really or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. I'm mm -hmm. not saying that because I'm bored of this game and really am enjoying okay. it. Okay. Are you ready? Here it sure. is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. Okay. Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's there's another bucket sort of... there. Okay, never mind. Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Okay. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about this. Here we go. Version 2. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I kidding, Stanley? There's two. There's two. This isn't a coherent two video game at all. It's a lot of gas. Yes. And I do very much enjoy like creating gags, but they there, don't add man. up to anything. Just infinitely fall forever. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No <laughs> matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley mm. Parable and simply, well, insert a few of my new features into it. Tastefully, of course. With respect, with care for the vision okay. and integrity of the original game. Yeah, there you go. Would it possibly work? Mm, I suppose it could, but it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. <laughs> All right, perfect. Go ahead. Man, you sure, work, you sure worked that really fast. The end is never. Ooh. The Stanley Parable 2. Oh my gosh. I think I just entered hell. <laughs> I mean, it looks cool. That's pretty... Actually, okay, you know what? Actually, that started to look actually pretty good. <laughs> it just looked like I just entered hell. Anyways, uh... Begin the game. Okay. So, what's so different now? This is the story of a man named Stanley. Okay. Is there anything Stanley different? worked oh, for a company in a different. big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 
and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Escape this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. That, that must be and the most easiest job to do. It so winning, Just press buttons like that. Every moment that the orders came in, <laughs> as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Ah, oh, well, I've already heard this intro, but... And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Ooh. Something that would forever Stanley change Gable Stanley. Too. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a <laughs> meeting, or even say hi. Hello. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This Stanley's. complete why isolation. They, why do they just all Something say was Stanley's. very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Oh boy, okay. We'll do one more. Okay, we'll do one more. And then... Or at least we'll just... I'm All just gonna have a look around here. Gone. Oh my what could gosh. It mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh, the bucket is here too. I don't think I'd want to even pick that thing up. What the heck is even the point of it? I see no point in grabbing said bucket. Stanley felt the bucket calling what? to him, begging him to pick it up. Why was he not doing it? Because I don't want the bucket. <laughs> what is... Okay. When Stanley ow, came oh, to geez, a set of two open ow, doors, ow. he entered the door on his left. What the heck? I think it was the bucket. It didn't like the fact that I just left it there. Ow, ow. Gosh, dang it. Oh my gosh, that really hit me in the eye. Oh, ow, that hurt. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, Perhaps I'm, he wanted oh, to stop I'm, by the employee lounge first, oh, just aware. to admire it. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy and but eager okay. to get back I to business. I don't care for that. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Oh, did I? Yeah, I pretty much went that way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, what it's incredible heck? he wasn't five years ago. Oh. Hey, what the heck? Oh. Uh, well, this is bad. How does how does this work? First off, there is no support under any of these other ones there. What? You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember, no reward for collecting all of these. Oh, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So... I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. Okay. He has four fingers. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it's just the design-wise for the figurines or something. This is a big white vent. How am I standing in it? Oh. But, oh, did I fall down it? Whoops. Whoa. What the heck? Huh? What the heck is that? Well, okay. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path. Wait. That it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun. Shot so far off the beaten path. What in the world? That it seemed the office had begun. So far off the narrator dialogue that it seemed the office had begun. Oops, so sorry, I got to close to path. my screen. That it seemed the office had begun. So so far off what? the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun. So so far off the beaten path. This that happen? it seemed the office had begun. So so far off the beaten something. path. That it seemed the office had begun. So so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth um, between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording. It was all just in Stanley's head. 
I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every I mean, time I had you watch a, a feeling. movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life Very being simple. an unending waterfall of surprises People and delights. Think that my How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of simple. us do. Uh, now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. What the heck did I do? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, I made him so upset he reset the game. Um, okay. Um, okay. I've I really gotta go to bed. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you guys like it, go ahead that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. We're gonna be exploring new content in the next episode. Whenever I decide to start recording again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button, little bell, pop up, notification bell. Keep you up to date with today's videos. All right, thank you guys again so much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next video. Have a good one, guys.